Yeah, given everything that's happening and given some of the misgivings that people have about President Biden as well that are very well documented, uh, and 49% of people in a recent poll for News Nation and DDHQ said that they would consider so a third party for president, uh, what do you think the chances are now uh, of a third party, a third party candidate emerging and really getting traction in this race as we head into the summer? Well, there was another poll that said 68% of the people in America do not want uh, Joe Biden or Donald Trump to be president, and they don't want to see a rematch of of 2020. So right. uh, that's a pretty big number, 49% saying they would consider uh, taking a look at somebody. But saying right now that you'd consider kind of a generic third party, perfect third party candidate is different than actually uh, seeing a campaign with a real candidate that has to uh, raise money and compete against uh, the, 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 the Republican and Democratic nominee. And I'm not sure whether it's possible or not, but I understand why so many people are frustrated uh, because they, you know, they don't want Trump or Biden. And it appears as if if the election were held today, those would be the nominees. And so I think it may be there may be more of an appetite for that than ever before. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. This wouldn't be decided until next spring. And uh, we have no idea what, what's going to happen right. over the next uh, 10 months. Right. we got a lot of road ahead of us and a lot more twists and turns. That for, that's for sure. OK, Governor Larry Hogan, thanks so very much for joining us on this Friday. Have a great weekend. OK, let's turn back to our panel now. And uh, that News Nation poll that Larry Hogan said was kind of a big deal that found 49 percent of people would consider a third party candidate in 24 if the country gets a rematch of President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. Guys? Maybe I've been doing this too long, but it's like the unicorn of the, of the political class, the political <laughs> media. The third party is going to come along and sweep everybody off its feet. Denise, is, that, is it going to happen? Is this kind of time going to be any different? <laughs> when you look at the word consider, who wouldn't consider, given today's right. news and also yeah. the high disapproval ratings? I mean, Biden's been upside down consistently for all of his entire term thus yeah. far. And so people, of course, would consider something else. But at the end of the day, I've worked on enough presidential campaigns to know that you have to have the organizational skills, you have to have really the money, and you have to have the name ID that actually gets you over the finish line. It's more than just a feeling that people have that gets you over that finish line. It has to be the entire structure and organization behind you pushing you there. Are, uh, Chris, are, do, so are we, we in a Ross Perot moment here? Uh, <laughs> that giant sucking sound? <laughs> okay. uh, the, there will be uh, independent there will be independent bids. There will be candidates. Other, we heard Cornell West uh, running. Right. Uh, Robert uh, F. Kennedy Jr. looks like I see. He's I see a guy. Democratic yeah, party. I see a guy bolting for an independent mm -hmm. run there. Now, of course, he would probably draw more votes away from Trump than he would from Biden. Mm -hmm. uh, J will Joe Manchin and no labels? Will, will some version of that be out there? I think we're going to have a weird uh, and wonderful, maybe, uh, presidential election cycle in which voters have a bunch of different choices because of the deep dissatisfaction we have with these okay, panels. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.